Hello everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we talk about iPhone and more specifically what to do when your Safari doesn't load up websites properly. So how do you fix Safari when it's not loading any websites? And naturally for this problem there are multiple different solutions based on the cause of the actual problem. So there could be a different things. There is the possibility, and it's probably the, the most likely one, that you're not properly connected to the internet. You can see I'm connected to the LTE, but it may not have a sustainable connection. Perhaps uh, something is going on with my carrier. I may It may say that it's LTE, but perhaps the internet access is simply not there. So yeah, that's probably one of the reasons. Even a more common thing is being connected to Wi-Fi, but then Wi-Fi does not necessarily need to have access to the internet. So mess around with the connection stuff, with the connection settings, and try to refresh uh, pages to see if anything changes or anything helps at all. Another thing which comes to my mind is that you just want to make sure that you go to actual websites that you 100% know about. For example, if you go to apple.com, you know that the website is working and that it exists. Because if you go to something completely random like apple.co or, I don't know, it's like, like random thing which doesn't even exist, you're going to get to a page which cannot be found because it does not even exist. So apple.ckm is not real. So yeah, just make sure to try it out on a page which actually exists and actually works. So yeah, that would be like the second thing to keep in mind. By the way, guys, make sure to join my 100% free education platform. I just finished the Rush course video editing. You can go ahead and check it out in the classroom section, 100% free. Go ahead and check it out. No interruptions. Link is going to be down below in the description. Another thing in terms of the connection as well, if you're using a VPN, you should also check your VPN settings because if you have that turned on, some apps or websites may be blocked. So in case you use VPN, try to disconnect from it, like turn it off and try it without VPN because there's like another barrier in between and this may not be the best idea, of course. So yeah, go ahead and try it out as well. Then other things in terms of the settings of Safari include clearing website data. So you can go ahead and do that if you open up the settings, then scroll down and find the Safari section. So it should be somewhere around in here, so Safari is right there. So go ahead and open it up and tap on clear history and website data. If you scroll down a bit more, you can see there is the blue button saying clear history and website data. So clear data. History will be cleared and uh, data, you can see like the cookies and other browsing data will be removed. So this option effectively restarts and resets your Safari web browser. As you know, Safari is not an app which can be like removed. It is like built in, so you cannot really remove it or anything like that. But you can only just like remove it from the home screen, not delete it entirely. So yeah, that's, this is basically how you can reset it. Also, another thing would be JavaScript, because there may be websites which don't really work well without the JavaScript enabled. So again, as you are in the settings and if you go to the Safari section right away, the same stuff, but I want you to scroll down and open up the advanced section. For me, JavaScript is enabled. But if it's not, it may be some reason why your website is not loading. It also depends on which kind of website you're visiting because not every single one uses that. It doesn't really apply to every single thing you visit, but there may be some websites which are not going to work in case you don't have this option enabled. And then at the end, there are some other things like troubleshooting methods which you have to try out. This includes restarting your iPhone, resetting the all of the settings as I told you, and also uh, updating to the latest version of iOS. Because as you know, in the notes of like the release notes of iOS versions, they also mention that there are some new things regarding Safari as well. So you can see 16.7 as well as iOS 17 is available. So it really depends on which you want to update to, but make sure to run the latest version of iOS to prevent any problems like this one from ever occurring. So that's about it. These were all the things and all the tips which I have for you. Make sure to leave a thumbs up under this video if you found it useful and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos similar to this one. 
Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out until then.